The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour, and we're looking at the Dow down 31 at 33,896. So technical Friday. Let me just go through some of these patterns here very quickly, and then I've got a bunch of questions that I want to answer. <clears throat> so I have to move that away, and now I've got it. So I'm always looking at three core patterns. I mean, there are so many other patterns, rectangle, long rectangle, wide rectangle, uh, straight lines, etc. But I really look at core straight line up or down, cup formation, arch formation, just those three patterns. And um, you can have a mix of one and two and one and three. Here's one and three where it makes an arch pattern, fails at a peak A or a B, Second, first or second peak after the low, and if it takes out the left side low, it can get quite ugly on a closing basis. Within that context, what do we have? We have the cup formation right here in the Dow. In the Chapman Wing methodology, we're always looking from the most identifiable low to count each successively peak at a peak D. The objective is to see the prices and the technicals improved enough to go from a buy signal to a, a buy mode, and the buy mode immediately implies that there should be at least four higher peaks. Peak A is the first, higher peak is peak B, higher peak is peak C, higher peak then is D, the fourth highest peak, that's where other things can happen. Now, within that context, look what we've got. We've got the low of 32,586 in the Dow. Uh, on the 25th of May goes peak A, B, C, D. We were, we, we've got core positions in the Dow and the three times long Dow from October. And we've had trading positions long and short uh, in the interim period. <clears throat> At that peak D, we started taking off some and then we pulled back. We had a nice rally and then we've got out. And on that pullback, we were out for a profit, uh, our final profit in this particular trading position of the UDOW. But... We went short another instrument, and the reason for going short, not the S&P or the Dow, was because this particular instrument looked as if there was a really good chance that there could be a pullback, and it was start off with the daily, but if the daily started to uh, increase to the downside and it took out the left side low of this dreaded H pattern, look, yeah, you've got a cup formation in the Dow vying with the arch formation, Days young, we're down 44. I, I don't see all that much other than a bounce, which we've already had going much higher. Um, yeah, we could stabilize, but I'm thinking we saw, you can see the deterioration and the nine period moving average is still very positive, but now they both, the nine and the 14 have trajectories to the downside. And that says now you've got to monitor closely because if it slips, the green goes under the, the black, that means the nine is weakening under the 14 period moving averages. If it turns pink, that's going to be very, uh, very poor and, and you'll go down quite a bit more. So within that context, I'll just do this for the moment. Daily chart, potential dreaded H. S&P, daily chart has made a new recovery high at where? At a peak D. And I'm putting a plus sign because I haven't got any indication yet on whether it's a sell, it hasn't even gotten into a sell signal. If it closes under 43.88, I get the sig uh, sell signal and might most probably upgrade it immediately to a sell mode. That's the daily chart. All the weekly charts are very strong. Monthly charts have improved. I don't, I don't want to get into that. It's technical Friday. I want to get into the technicals of the near term. Look at the QQQ. <clears throat> 372.85 was the high background of the 16th of June. I called it a G strategy alternate count because there's a chance we could have we could have had a little pop to the upside just at one penny above 372.85 goes to a leg D, um, and most importantly we're starting to store here at 48 cents of 367.94 weekly charts fabulous monthly charts improved a lot but this daily chart 
The MACD didn't even deflect high. It just it's continued to be very negative. The stochastic did go to almost 80%, to so 77%, but it's underneath the previous, when the, when it made the 372.85 high of the 16th. The MACD, everything was good. The unbalanced volume turned around exactly on that day. I love when the unbalanced volume gives you that exact ictus for the turnaround to the upside or the downside. Um, and But if the price holds very well, which it's done, I've got to consider that so far the Qs are holding very well. Uh, it's in a buy mode. It remains that way. It hasn't changed its configuration. IWM had very poor action. Today's fabulous trying to fill the gap. And it does that every once in a while. It kind of plays catch up or it even leads for a moment and everything looks great. And then suddenly... <laughs> It just gives everything back. So I'm watching the small caps, the iShares, the Russell 2000 ETF, very closely because if we get a rotation, we might start to see other areas weaken, and that would include, and I'm going to go to it right now, the SMHs. So the SMHs, as you remember, it was about a year ago, I said, from everything I'm reading with all the fabs being built all around the world and just the whole infrastructure of the semiconductor industry, is that they always get things wrong. They always project out. It's like they look, they're look. they actually very much like economists. If the lines are going up, they just they don't, they don't change anything. They just say, we're projecting up. If they're going down, we're projecting down. I suspect that the chip industry is in for a, a, um, some excessivity, and that's what I've been talking about for some time. I have no idea, and I can't – I'm not even able to find the resources to give me that information – data-wise, documented accurately, I get different things and I get word of mouth and I've got some people that are in the business. I just can't get a good read on it. But the chart itself of the SMH says, this is a high-level consolidation from the 155.94 high of the 16th of June and then the 154.07 test four days ago with two doji candles and now we're pulling back. If at any point in the next few days, going into next week, we close under 146.83, that was the low of the 26th of June, then I suspect we're going to test the low that was made back on the 6th of June, which was 142.98. No big numbers here. The weekly chart is still having a high-level consolidation. A lot of candles all within a small range. Week, monthly chart, unbelievable. 159.42 was the high in November of 2021. Plunges down to 83. I would call that about a 50% decline. Um, and then what happens? It comes all the way back to the 155, 156 area. A couple of points away from an all-time high. All of this gives me a really good positive reading for 2023 overall for the market. But just on the short term, I'm watching this very closely. And as I said, uh, um, we actually have a short position, which we took some profits yesterday. Really nice gains on a very short-term uh, two-day, three-day basis. And so far, we're going to hold it, and I'll hold it with a stop just above our entry point for the core position. I think that this is telling us, it's going to tell us a big story. So far, the story says, ho-hum, we're just in a sideways range, up $1.36 at 150.27. If today instead had been really ugly and we were trading the 146, 145 area, I'd say, uh-oh, that's a real problem. So with that said, we've covered a bunch of the key XLK just as we go to the break. This is the S&P uh, Select Tiger Spider Fund and uh, holding very nicely. It looks a little bit like the Qs, but it is making um, it's in a sideways path. I'll be back. Dow's down 32, S&P's up 3. Be right back. I'm not impressed. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So this is a narrow rectangle pattern that I look at. You've got the one minute chart and made a peak G and we pull back very sharp on that. Uh, you can see how important these other techniques that I have. I always discuss that if you do one of my webinars, if you're a subscriber, check out my webinars, how important the 200 period moving averages as a repellent or a magnet line. Look, there it is right there being repelled from the 200 in the 10 minute chart, etc. I don't want to take too much time here, even though it's technical Friday. A couple of really good questions. So I want you to do this quickly. Here we go. The gold contract, very, very strong today, um, up 20 testing that 14 period exponential moving average resistance it's not being able to close above it it just barely closed above it once but in the last let's go back to right there so since the 16th every single day since the 10th of may 10th of may the uh, gold contract has not been able to close above the 14 period exponential moving edge it's hit it many many times and yet it gets repelled it did that for the last week it's done that uh, three times already now we're going to see it's right up against it at 1934 and the actual gold let me go show you what that is that's 1936 is the 200 period exponential moving average. And what's important about this is the MACD is starting to move cross positive. The stochastic starting to rise. So there's a nice move to the upside. On balance volume has made a little V-shaped turnaround. But you need to see price follow through. And this week, you've got an S, meaning sell, in the 914 cross over to the downside in the weekly chart. It's going to take a lot to get that back into the positive territory. So I, I suspect, once again, you just got a nice counter trend move here in the, in the gold. I don't see it yet as the start of a really big move to the upside. I think that's going to come a little later. Could be a bounce, but the big move, I think, is going to come in a little while. Uh, so with that said, let me just do a couple of things. I did that silver quickly. 
silver you see is uh, starting to look much better than gold a couple of days ago and now it's lagging a little bit even though it's up 36 cents at 20 20 25 uh this weekly chart also doesn't look all that great looking at uh, high grade copper high grade copper yeah nice candle today but same sort of thing dreaded h pattern all the all, uh, in the weekly charts is constantly so it's at 377 uh, up 0.04 uh, crude oil nice move up in crude oil this is peak A, this is leg B, and it's over the previous one, so it's a combined leg B. And that says, yeah, we might see a little bit of a move. And here again, I'll use the reference for the weekly 200 period, sorry, weekly 14 period exponential moving average. And, and copper since back in April hasn't been, on the weekly basis, hasn't been able to close above the 14, let alone the pink nine period moving average. Today, it's over the, this week, it's over the nine and it's touching the 14, but it's still not a very good-looking chart. Uh, all I can say is that I think that crude oil is stuck in a range, and that's important. Let's just go to um, – I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go to the U.S. bonds. U.S. bonds uh, broke down. Uh, they are going to test, very close to testing in the rectangle formation, the low of the week of the 3rd of March – at the low is 123 on the continuous contract, and the low today is 123 and 830 seconds. And then if you go to the TLT, which gives you an even better picture, the low was 20, uh, so 98.88. Let me just type that in here 98.88. And that was also back in, that was in March. And what are we looking at today? We're looking at a low of 98.99. How close can you get, right? Going, uh, this is months. And it's the test. And if it breaks out, then the TBT is going to go to leg. Oh, look at this. Peak A, peak B. This is the weekly chart. Peak B, peak C. And there's your D. And it's still within the rectangle underneath the previous high. So all I can say is that uh, daily basis, that'll be an A. That'll be a B, and that's only a C in the daily, and it's gone above the previous high. So, yeah, yields are going high. I think that is an issue, and I had a comment here uh, from uh, Paul saying it's all about yields. I, I say it at times. It's just like the VIX index. It's all about when it's all about. Otherwise, the mo let me just show you this right here. This is Chapman Wave. Dark news cloud cover using the Dow daily chart. I've, I've said this since 11, uh, the, since 11, 11, 22, that there's going to be a huge, massive, um, dark cloud that is really the news, economic news, any kind of news. And every time the market starts to get a little nervous, whatever is important in the news, the market is going to take it really seriously. And every other day, the same news, the market ignores it. Right now, it's in the phase that it's starting to take it seriously. You can see the cap that you've got, the umbrella on the upside. And that canopy is going to be, until we start to trade in the down, the 35,000s on a weekly basis, that's going to be the canopy to overcome. All right. But that said, um, yields are very important at this particular point. Uh, but look at this, the HGX. I'm moving away from what I wanted to talk about. The HGX, if I can type it in the right place. There it goes. HGX this is the Philadelphia housing. Come on. There. I was out yesterday, came back, and what do I find? Uh, after the most, the hottest game of tennis I've ever played. I mean, it was brutally humid and hot yesterday. That uh, somehow or other... There was a, I think the truck went into a pole or something like that. So I lost power. And of course, I had to redo all my notations again. Yeah. Anyway, look at this. The HGX is just gapped down. And we're going to be watching this very closely because for the Philadelphia housing sector, made a new all-time high. 538.36 was the high in May. And just the other day, it went to 550.44. So that can take a breather, and that's what I'm saying. This is a rotational breather. I had a question. I'll go to the questions now. ENVX. Um, uh, Basil, you're along. Where do you think you'd add? So ENVX is N-Novix. 
uh, core silicon anode lithium ion battery development product data solutions had a really sharp move to the downside. We didn't get the add-on position. We're already long from the 16s. Here it is at uh, 19s. Uh, this is a tough one. I should have just grabbed that. I should have sent an intraday thing saying, let's start our next uh, entry point here and see what happens with a fairly tight stop. Because once something's in play, and this is in play, you remember we said the same thing about SYM, which we still have, it's in play. But uh, And then I said, on the 15th of June at 53.83, we took our last little bit off of the, of the trading position and we're keeping a core and we'll see what happens. Well, it's starting to stall. And this is the whole thing about the symbiotic ink. This is AI, robotic warehousing. When they're in play, they're in play. When they're out of play, you just kind of have to step aside for a while, keep your core position and be very careful. Uh, so the ENVX is in play. SYM, just at the moment, is out of play. It will become back in play at some point. Okay, so I've got that now. Yeah, go, go, go. D -O -T. D -O -T. D -O -T. Daily dog security platform for cloud applications. Very nice, up to 22 at 99.30 today. I'll, I'll be back in a moment. There's a lot to discuss here. Yeah, there are good, good questions that have come in. I'll get to them all. Technical fighting. I'll be right back. Dow's down from five. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're looking at 
DOG, Data Dog, trading up $1.95 at $99.10, had a spectacular move today. It does look very often, has a huge move up to $101.50 with the $97.47 uh, uh, low. I mean, four points, just like that, boom. Anyway, it's given back a chunk, but it is saying that it's kind of in play, um, but within a rectangle formation. And I've got my chap move, there's your cup formation. I drawn the, this in right now. The left side, right side price time match says by the 12th of July it should attempt to get very close to the high of 103. Oh, round number high or was that 103. 103.80. Yes, 103.80. Let me just type that in. 103.80. There it is. And that was back at the beginning of June, plunges down to the 90, 90 area, and it comes right back again. So you see the little cup formation. Now, what I had drawn in a long time ago for Data Dog is a couple of things. The big arch formation that said left side, right side, price time match almost to the month. And I chose this particular candle right here, the very strong candle of back in, this is 2020. This is May. It, it opens at 44 round number high, goes to 75 round number high, has a low of 43.13, and that kicks off a whopper of a move, and it goes all the way to the high, just about 200, pulls back very sharply, comes back, and what does it do? It tests. This is what I I chosen to make the midpoint here from this particular Grand Canyon wall on the left side, and it went right to the a, a, four times within five months. We went down to 61, 34, 62, 62, 63, and then it took off. So I like the action very much. I like the fact that it's making this beautiful symmetry. This is the week I typed this in ages ago. This is the week that it should have had a test of 104, uh, right there. I said it was 104.95, this particular candle from September of uh, last year, 2022. Yeah. And uh, so it's making a little cup formation. It's acting quite well. All I can say is that if it closes under 94 in the next couple of days, it's going to take a lot longer to get back into the 104 area, but or to get to the 104 area. But if it's able to have a rally next week, today's Friday, next week by Tuesday, Wednesday, it can even have two hours of trading at 99.60 or higher then it's going to try for the high of today. So that's what I'm saying there. So I like it. Next question was came in DKNG is the one that's on our list, a buy list, but we haven't been able to get it because I want it lower down. This is DraftKings Inc. Sports betting. Um, peak A, A, B, C. Yeah, this is acting really well. I, it looked yesterday like it was really going to start to pull back in the H pattern rather than this cup formation. And in fact, it hasn't. It's got a really nice session up a dollar today, 26.23. I would like it for the longer term uh, well, to start trading below 23.50. And at that point, uh, on the on the black 14 period exponential moving average of the uh, weekly chart, then I'm looking at it because it's going to take so long for that green nine period moving average. Look how fantastic it's walked the nine EMA to, to it will be under 20.50 before that green even gets close to the black. So I like this very much. But I, I just have maybe I should just we should start positions in steps. But if the question is, where do I get in? Or if you're in, just I would be looking to add and I'd say add in your case, if you're already in lower down, you can add a little bit higher, maybe 24 under just up between 2450 to 24. But if you're not in, I really think it's worth holding just a little bit longer. We'll see what happens very soon. As I say, I think I've been talking about this as a consolidation phase early July. I'm st sticking with that, and we'll see what happens there. So that's that. Answer those questions. Now, this is a fantastic uh, question for me because I've never done this with a with a with a was a BTAI. Yeah, BTAI with a therapeutics with a biotech stock, BioXL. Oh, another X in the middle of there. Make it very difficult to actually pronounce. Uh, just like that ENVX is an X in the really 
lopsides the whole thing. All right. So it's trading at 10.89, up a penny. So the question came in, and I never even thought about it with this particular stock. But the question came in from A to B. Um, Hi, Basil. BTAI closed two days over the gap. Can you please remind your rules on these situations? Does that indicate 28 sessions above the gap, or am I just making something up? You know, sometimes we make up these rules, but they're... I have so many, a plethora of rules for different situations that I completely forgot to use this particular one, even though we spoke about it with a huge gap down. But it's absolutely applicable. Why? Because on the 29th of June, on the 28th of June, doodle, 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 songs trading between 16 and 17, la, da, 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 bam, the next day, the high, the high is 9.46 and the low is 5.88. But wait a minute, um, I spoke about this in terms of big red candles, charts that make at least two big red candles have a possibility of making a third one. It's the, the character of the stock, the bookkeeping, the, 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 the field they're in, whatever it is, they've now developed a character that says, watch out, I can surprise on the downside like you've never seen before. Well, it did that, and I was discussing that, but there's the other rule, and the rule says that if there's a massive volume and everybody's just thrown in the towel, um, is that not the rule that I say it can go 28 bars? Uh, that's what I call the volume price climax reversal. Well, it that applies. There should be no reason why it doesn't apply except for one thing. You remember, I like to see a gap down, another gap down, and I said that that was my, with KRE, that's the thing that was missing and that big move down over over here. Chapman Wave price volume climax on the 4th of May, 34.52. But wait a minute, this one did exactly what we were looking at, 28 bars, and if it holds well above the gap, well, the gap high, it can go 56. This has done it perfectly, KRE, although I don't like the chart in terms of um, buying it at this particular point. Schwab did the same thing, except it did not go above the, the arch high. But look where it is from the 54 low. It's at 56. It's, it's doing quite nicely. So I'm going to say I have to stick with my rule. And the rule says yes. You had volume. This thing tracks volume-wise. Oh, 608,000, 732, 658, 1.1 million. Yeah, just it's in the 1.2 to this 500,000 area. Suddenly, it has volume of 26,516 BTAI, BioXL Therapeutics. I think that I, I've i never done this with the biotech, especially with a stock so low. All the rules are there except for that one, that, that green candle on the 28th of June. If that was a big red candle, I would have said absolutely it's applicable. But they had massive volume. So I'm going to say we've already had one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to say there's a really good chance that the low of 5.88 should hold. But I question that if we close below uh, the low of... I'm going to make it the law of 6.38. Go under that and I'm going to say maybe it doesn't work. But absolutely, that's the rule. It should work for 20. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait. This sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. 
The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So uh, about a week, I think, or so ago, we were looking, someone had mentioned uh, Rig Trans Ocean Limited, and I said there was another one that we were comparing, and I said that Rig was the better one. Well, so Rig was almost at its left side high of the week of the 10th of March of 774. Today's high is 765. Actually, it's taken it out. I'm calling this a leg C. I should call it an alternate count. <clears throat> Just for the moment, I'll call it leg C. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the weekly chart has to go above uh, 774. Uh, yeah, was that what I was I incorrect there? Ah, 774. Okay, yeah. So today's high is 765. We're just under it. So I'm calling it leg C for the moment. MACD is just in the weekly chart. Finally, cross positive. Stochastics improving at 57 on balance volumes. Good. Nine has been overlooked even for that dip. That sharp dip from the 762-ish uh, area, uh, 775, down to the 540s, that nine-period moving average refused to cross negative and has been green. And look at that. Uh, so I like this. This is still one of the better ones. Rig, I, someone had mentioned SLB recently. Whoops, wrong chart. SLB has Slumberger, also in the oil service area. SLB. Very strong move today, up 1.96 at 51.08. But I said I prefer rig as a, a chart formation. So, um, yeah, so those are the questions I had there. Oh, quick one is FXI. FXI is acting today. is not bad, but it's really stuck in this area. If you look at the weekly chart, the nine-period moving average has refused to cross positive. It's just kind of stuck here. But wait a minute. NK, which is the uh, Japanese, uh, the Nikkei, 225 USD continuous contract um, had a really good move to a PG at about 34 recently, showing at 32.41. There's the dreaded H. There's the first H right there, and it fails. Let me draw it in so that you can see. Technical Friday, I may as well be as thorough as possible. There it is, dreaded H. And he has another bigger one. Goes to peak B. That one went to peak A. This one went to peak B. And it, 
is it closing below? It hasn't yet closed below the left side low. But this is just saying lower, now it's a reverse from higher highs and higher lows to lower highs and lower lows. So I'm just saying digestive phase. This kind of corresponds to what I'm looking at here in terms of the uh, digestive phase. What was the other question I had? Oh, here it is. Let me write it. I wrote it down. Here we go. A W was mentioned. Now, I'm not sure if that was wheat that were people are talking about. Uh, the wheat contract or W Wayfair. So Wayfair furniture hits 369 round number high January of 2021. Has a little bit of a pullback to 28.11 back in October of the uh, 2022. Uh, and then has a double bottom and then rallies really strongly, goes to peak E in the 68 area. And now what we're looking at is at 59, big two big red candles and today's a green candle inside bar. Uh, inside, yeah, inside bar, but it looks to me like it's starting to pull back. If it closes in the in July, at any point in July, if it closes under 51.38, this is the 200 period moving average, not good enough. If it closes under the double bottom lows of the 12th of June and the 13th of 49.73, 49.62, if it closes under 49, it's at 59, that's 10 points. Anytime in July, that's going to suggest that this part of the retail area is still highly vulnerable. And we'll look at the RTH quickly. RTH is, oh, I haven't updated it. I haven't looked at it for a little bit. A, B, C, D, E in the weekly. See, this is the whole thing about this diverging market. Areas, you have to look at the total thing. For instance, the XLC, I'll just, while I'm typing this in, the XLC is the communications area. And if you look at AT&T and Verizon and Comcast, they were getting hammered. And yet the overall, because of the makeup of the of that particular ETF, it's been doing fantastically. So you've got to be looking at either specific stocks or the ETF, the conglomerate that they use, because sometimes it's just so much safer to be in the ETF. We've done that a couple of times. Um, and um, I'm quite a bots will be still long bots. It's been fabulous. That's the AI yeah, ETF. So here we are. We have RTH peak F pulls back, caps down, um, leg E in the weekly. Weekly is still looking fabulous. Uh, this is 20% is Amazon. But wait a minute, the XRT, which is the SP, has a different chart pattern. It's gone peak A, P, P, peak C, and D, N, and E right there, but it's still holding very nicely. Wow, what an interesting market this is. It depends on the area you're in. Some areas have just been hammered, lambasted, just absolutely taken apart. And other areas have just been saying, ho oh, hum, what bear market? This is fantastic. So here you've got A, this is A, B, E slash C. Um, I'm going to change that. I'm saying alternative counts. And it's right at the 200 period moving average, about to hit resistance. Interesting. Two different chart patterns. Why? Because the S&P retail ETF has an equal weighting, so Amazon doesn't distort. So that's very interesting. Just quick look at Amazon. Amazon, there it is. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. Pulling back a little bit, gap down, trying to fill some of the gap. Um, still holding very nicely. Um, oil, so I did that, did that. I think there was another question. <clears throat> Uh, BTAI, that down day was 100% flow turnover. Then the up day was 120% turnover again. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is amazing. Um, okay. So uh, let me just see. It's, uh, okay. So the questions have come in. Oh, Abe, yeah, if you had a little distortion, thank you, Al, for uh, fixing that up for the uh, Tiger YouTube. Um, good. Okay. A couple of things I want to do before we wrap up for the weekend because this is the work that I'm going to do when I do my – weekend hour-long uh, video for subscribers, the overview video, all the things that we're going to be discussing. Let me show you something here. In video, I wanted to do stocks as well, so I've written down a whole bunch of stocks that we need to look at. Look, sideways action, not breaking down, up six today, up almost seven at 427.67. Look at the weekly chart. This can go on a little bit. The longer it goes on, the greater the chances are that you don't break significantly to the upside 
the greater the chances are that you actually break to the downside. If NVIDIA, any day, not even a week or a month, any day this this month, if there's a close below 398, it's at 427. That's the 30 points. It's like an 8 or 9% decline. But if there is a close below that, I would say to you, you just got to be real careful of both the semiconductor area as well as the QQQs, which is the NDX 100, as well as the general market, because the semis usually lead up and they lead down. So that's NVIDIA. If you look at advanced micro devices, um, look at that big back, look at that applied materials, uh, a big gap down, but it's, it's still up in the range, the, the good range in the weekly chart. So you go through each one individually, and then all of oh, LRCX, LRCX is gapped down, but now today it's up four, it's 624. But I'm looking at this, I'm saying, I see a, a, some kind of a slow rollover. We'll see if I'm correct. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Hi folks, we're back. We're looking at, uh, the, yeah, remember what we were always looking for in the Chapman methodology, an identifiable low bar, especially with a nice V and all the technicals, and then you expect four higher peaks if it gets upgraded to a buy, from a buy signal to a buy mode. We just did that in the one minute chart. So we're really stuck in a range. The s and is up 25 cents. Um, when you consider what's going on, this is still pretty good action. That's the reason why I'm saying on a very short term basis, uh, looking at the daily, not the weekly charts, I'm considering that this is a period where we have some digestive action. So far, we have got some digestive action. But this H pattern right here in the Dow says a close below 33,610. I'd, I'd prefer to make a little lower, 33,580 would suggest that the consolidation goes on a little while longer. So far, the weekly charts are holding very well. I'll give you the parameters for the S&P. Uh, so far, holding extremely well. It's up 40 cents at 44.11, but after everything that's happened, the nine is still way over the 14, and that's the reason why we didn't want to short the S&P or the Dow or anything like that. Just rather stick with what I think so far is the weakest and I, I, so far, it looks like it's the semiconductors. That could change in a second, especially with something as strong as NVIDIA. Now, what we're looking at is if on the day, if after 1.30 this afternoon, the Dow is down 60 or more points, it just says we're probably going to have a this close. If it's, a, if it's over 60 points up, that says whatever is happening, that's really good. I think it's going to be tough for you. Have a wonderful rest of the day and have a, a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for Steve Rose and great programming here. And don't forget the Tiger.